Diana! Cannot go in the house. There's a 500 people I am out so, here. I put a... Good morning. Am I too early? Puppy? Hey, pup. Yeah, he's, he's the guard dog. <laughs> Thank you for letting me look. Oh, that is cool. Did you make that? I'm sorry? Did you make that? Wow, that's awesome. Oh, you had 250. Okay. Don't worry about the change. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for letting me shop early. No Have a nice day. Good morning. Good. Am I too early? No. Okay. Yeah. Where did you get this thing? Oh, did you really? Yeah. That's so cool, man. We had that one left over. That's awesome. Negotiable. All right. Just got to get rid of stuff, huh? Right. <laughs> got to get rid of it. Something for everybody. <laughs> I like it. You never know what you might find. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's the joy of these. You just never know. I'm gonna go ahead and make a pile. Oh, sure. Uh, maybe, <laughs> let's see. I think I'll just put it all right here for now. It's fine. Well, we got bags that you can put it in, too. Okay. Get ready. All right, so I owe you five. Oh, look, you even brought your yeah, bag. Yeah, I prepared. had a bag. Uh, seven. These were all in the quarter box. Yes, quarter box. So that's eight. Would you do 10 on your shelf? Sure. All right, are you 18? 18, let me get some. Oh, I got it. Do you? Yep. Okay. Came prepared. I went to, yeah, I went to the bank to get change because I'm like, oh man, I gotta yeah. have money to That's give right. back. There you go. Thank you. Do Thank you. Need you. Any help with that? I think I can probably get it. Okay, it's kind of awkward and hard. Is it? Okay. I can help. Alrighty, here I'll, um, it it's heavier than it looks. Yeah, it's and it's not. <laughs> Let me open this back part up. I'm hoping. Awesome. Thank you, guys. You too. I don't normally like buying big stuff, but I cannot pass up that Margaritaville shelf. It's like two surfboards on the side. Just really cool. They were asking 20 and I was buying some other stuff. So I asked them if they'd take 10 and they did, even though I was like 45 minutes early to their sale. They were super nice. Yeah. I'm going to put that on Facebook marketplace. And I think a paired head is going to snatch that up for 50 bucks. Oh, I thought, 71. I thought maybe go. that was, um, okay. Thanks. If they're worth like a million dollars, I will. Yeah. Percentage. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll cut you in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Get this sports stuff out. Okay. Maybe there's something in there. Let me get out and look. Okay. Okay. St. Louis football Cardinals. Oh wow, that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Huh? What do you want for that? Two bucks. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, that was always going to be my dream is to do this stuff and put it in our basement. It's no yeah. Are now. you from St. Louis? Uh, yeah, we lived there for a while. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yep. So, um, you want this too? Yeah, Maybe sure. That's fine. Thank you. I also, I'll tell you what, let me see. I got a couple other posters. I know I've got a, I don't know, you're not old enough, but Larry Wilson with the Cardinals. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'll take a look. He is in the Hall of Fame. Awesome. Uh, and I think there's a Dick Butkus one in here too. All right, cool. Oh, yeah. That is neat, man. That is super cool. Larry Wilson. Wow. Oh, Larry Wilson's. Two big dick box pieces and a Larry Wilson. What do you want for all of them? I probably should hold true to what I'm saying. Um, what are those? Those are old partners. Three dick box pieces. Yeah, those are super cool. Um, it's almost like a chalk mm -hmm. design. Yeah. Where'd you get 
I've had those. Why now you want to keep them? Well, no, I just, you know, in my retirement. So, yeah. One, two, three, three four, I think there's six of them. Five, three, six. Three. Yeah. I think. So, so you want? Uh, 15 bucks, is that fair? Sure, yeah, okay. I'll do that. Okay. Um, I appreciate you pulling them out for me. No Thank problem. you. There you go. Oh, well, if you Great. stayed Thank around you. long enough, we could pull a ton of stuff I'm out. Just, Here's my card. Yeah, if you find the video games okay, or sure. any of the other yeah, stuff, yeah. give me a call. Okay. What um, about um, Star Wars stuff and things like that? Yeah, definitely. That? Absolutely. Can you show me your Star Wars thing? I, I, I really, um, I'd have to get that out. I'd, I'd, yeah, I'm not in any hurry. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm John, by the way. Oh, John. My name is Randy. Randy, nice to right, meet you. Nice yeah. meeting you. Good luck with the sale. Well, thank you. Do you have any tennis rackets? Tennis rackets. How much is the clothing? Dollar. Dollar a piece? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Do you have the PlayStation to go with the games? No. No? That's why I'm selling them. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. It blew up on me. Oh, no. Four, five, six. I owe you six dollars. I got three pieces of clothing and I got the Simpsons. Right. Got it in the perfect way. There you go, yeah. All thank right, you. Thank you. You need a, if you need a bag, I have Kroger bags right here. Oh, it's okay. I've got some in the car. Okay. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Doing good, thanks. How much are the trains? Well, I think we need to sell them as a set, so if you want to make me an offer, everything's good. No, I have no idea what they're worth, to be honest. Um, so you... Well, a brand new set, to give you an idea, I eBay a lot. A brand new set on eBay is going for 300 I would give you the whole set for $50 because there's missing a train. And the oh, okay. box is not in mint condition. Okay. But it does work. Okay, cool. Morning. These are uh, Edie Harper, the wife of Charlie Harper. Oh, okay, yeah. What are you asking for them? What are you? What are we going to ask for these, Linda? For the Harpers. Um, I think they were ten each. Right? Let's see. You've got one, two. Would you do any better if I just get them all? Sure. Two. Thanks. Three. <laughs> You've got three of them. Would you just do 20 bucks for them? Sure. Okay, thank you. Thank you, man. Thanks, sir. Have a good day. I'm going to buy your chair, too, sir. Okay, thanks, Edward. Okay. okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay, yep. Have a good one. I just found a Panasonic DVD recorder. The lady didn't have it priced. And. Offered five. She said she wanted ten. It didn't have the remote though, and she said she thought she could find it. So I said, I'll tell you what. I'll give you five bucks for it and leave you my card. If you find the remote, call me. I'll come give you another five bucks for the remote. So that's what she did. It's not super valuable. Probably fifty, sixty bucks. I think the remote would add another twenty dollars worth of value. So I'm hoping she finds it. Any other like Reds sports memorabilia? No, actually, I used to have a lot, but this year I don't. No? I'm a, really a Reds fan until this year. You gave up on them? I, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I got rid of Billy Hamilton. I oh, yeah. That. A I lot of people were upset I, about that. I, I understand the, you know, dilemma, but gosh, he, he just, he was good. Yeah, I liked him too. It's so hard you watch these guys and get attached to them and then and they like, go and trade them, yeah. Yeah. What's your record? Uh, Diana! Jeez. Maybe she's in the bathroom. I cannot go in the house. There's a 500 people I am so, out here. I put a...
Would you take three for that? It says five. Sure. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Sure. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. How you doing? Just fine yourself. Good. How much is your water um, water aerobic things? Uh, twenty bucks. Actually. Twenty bucks on that set. Two hundred bucks. Okay. Go. What are you wanting on your um, DVD copier? I tell you what, if you buy that, I'll give you that. Do you have the power cord for it? It's like a little DCN thing. I tell you what. Let me, I've got a drawer full of junk. If you've got it, I'll do the 20 for both. I, I appreciate that. Let me go look. Okay, cool. Well, I found a power cord. It's not the power cord. <laughs> okay. Uh, I trick, most of them won't fit if they don't work there. Yeah. So I, I'm not going to tell you, I know that. At this price, you're taking a chance. Yeah, I understand, but, yeah. Uh, I don't know. You're welcome to it. All right. Okay. That's a, that's a, that's not the power card. It's just oh, I see, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. There's about four of them. That's the only one that fit. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do the 20 okay. bucks. I appreciate it. Yeah, that stuff's good for exercise. Okay. Yeah. It's 11.30 and I'm done garage sailing for the day. I'm stopping a little bit early today because Whitney and I are taking the kids to the Reds game. We got tickets to the Reds game. We tried to go to a game earlier this year and it got rained out. So this is our first family Reds game of the season. I'm heading to my storage unit right now. I'm gonna drop off that big Margaritaville shelf. I'm gonna snap a picture of it and post it to Facebook Marketplace. And then I'm gonna head home and unload this stuff. I probably won't have time to pull it all out and show everything to you guys, but I will try to do that in the next day or two. All right guys, a few days have passed since I went garage channel on Saturday. Things have been a little crazy around here. If any of you guys have kids, I'm sure you can relate. But I'm gonna pull this out and show you guys everything I found. All right, first up is this Rookwood pottery tile. I believe this company went out of business and then they reopened. And I think this was made after they reopened. Whoa. It's a pretty cool uh, tile of the downtown Cincinnati skyline. They were asking 10 for it. I paid five. I think it sells new for like 50 or 60. So I don't know. I'm hoping maybe 30 or 40 bucks. I just made a sale. I sold a Sims 3 game for $7.99. This right here I picked up really late in the day. It was like 11.30 or something, and I was on my way home and saw a sale and decided to stop. These are Bitsy Bears Musical Teacups, and it's new in the box. Never been opened. I paid $3 for it, and I can't find any kind of comps for it. There's one active listing for like 180 or best offer, but who? I mean, that doesn't mean it's worth that. And there's no completed listing, so... I'll just throw it up there for, you know, high money and put offers on it. And if it doesn't sell over time, I'll just start to lower it a little bit. But yeah, I think it was probably not a popular toy. It's got the tag from Walmart and it went on sale like three or four different times. It just kept getting marked down. I guess nobody liked it. So maybe that's why it's got some value. If it even has value, I have no idea. Got this IBM clicky keyboard at the same sale I got that Bitsy Bears toy I paid it was asking five dollars which is kind of surprising and I paid three I've got a few of these over the years some of them are worth a lot more than others I didn't look this one up but keep an eye out for vintage keyboards certain ones have some good money what you're looking for is ones that make that clicky noise I think the louder the better to be honest I really don't know that much about them but that's what people want to buy. So keep an eye out for old keyboards. First sale of the day that I went to, I got there super early. I think it was advertised at like eight o'clock. It was part of that citywide. And I was there like seven, maybe even a little bit before seven. And she was like all set up, ready to go. And she was really nice. She let me shop. 
And I found this mask for $2. Just really cool. And it's got a sign back here. The tag on it says La Venexiana. I think she said she got it in Venice. Might not be worth anything, but I just thought it was super cool. And for $2, I couldn't pass it up. At that same sale, I got some Gypsy Witch fortune, te fortune telling cards. I've done good with some of these in the past. Um, depending on the age, you can get some really good money for these. These were 50 cents. Oh, that's cool. It was actually made in Cincinnati, Ohio, too. I'm trying to find a year on these things. It's got the instructions. How to tell fortunes. Yeah, I can't find a year anywhere on these. They don't look super old. Just kind of based on the graphics. And the fact they've got, you know, colors and everything. If I had to guess, I'd probably say 60s, maybe 70s, something like that. But... I know I'll get more than 50 cents for them. Got a couple of new in the packaging things at one sale. I got this Groot Chia Pet. I've actually sold this on Amazon before for, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks, something like that. And apples to apples. They're both new. He was wanting $2 each. He was wanting $2 each and I got them both for three. Got some clothing at one sale. It was a dollar each. I got these khaki shorts uh, with cargo pockets. With the tags, Polo, Raffle, or in. I don't do a lot of the clothes, but for a dollar I can pass it up. MSRP is $59 on these things, so I'd probably get, I don't know, 20 bucks maybe. And this is the time of year to be selling shorts. And I got this soccer jersey. I know nothing about soccer other than it's popular, and this will probably sell. Got some Ninja Turtle stuff at one sale. It was only a quarter each. Here is a Michelangelo toy. This is like the newer stuff. This is probably in the 2000s if I had to guess. And then I got three turtles, Pez dispensers. Honestly, I've had terrible luck with Pez. Like, I just haven't been able to sell them. I don't think most of them are worth anything. Um, the thing you want to look for with Pez is the modern ones will have feet. They'll have feet at the bottom of the dispenser. The older ones do not have feet. So if you see some without feet, that's usually a good indication that there might be some value to them. I'll probably just lot all three of these up on eBay and try to get I don't know, 10 bucks for them or something. I've got this JBL speaker. Uh, it's a Bluetooth speaker, the Charge 3. It did not have the power cord, but I'd say it's something pretty universal. Yeah, sure enough. It's got like a I don't know, micro USB, like micro USB or something like that for a charger. Um, I paid five bucks for it. JBL speakers are pretty expensive, and I might even just keep this as an extra speaker. Also at that sale, I got a TI-83 Plus for two bucks. I always check the battery compartments on these things, because if they're, like, super dirty and gross and batteries have, you know, exploded in there, can be pretty hard to clean or do anything with it. I've still been able to sell them as parts for, you know, nine, ten dollars, something like that. Got a couple toys at a sale later in the day. I got two of these Alfie data bots for a couple dollars each. I actually bundled a lot of stuff, and she was really cool about it because I think she just wanted to get rid of it. It was like almost twelve. She was probably done with having a sale and wanted stuff gone. This V this uh V Tech, a branded adapter for a dollar. I'm sure I'll be able to get at least ten or fifteen for that. And then this V Tech Mater Spy Mission laptop. She was asking five after the bundle I probably paid three bucks. I got this Sony DVD recorder. I've sold this one before and I think when I sold it I didn't have power cords or anything. I sold it as is parts for like thirty bucks. He didn't have the power cord. He had like this direct TV power cord, but it actually fits it. So I'm hoping I can at least use it to test it if the amps are right and just kind of sell it like that. We'll see. He actually threw that in for me because I bought these. So this is the Hydrotone. It's like a uh, water aerobics set. There's like six or seven pieces in there. I've bought these before, and if I remember correctly, I sold them for like 60, 70 bucks, something like that. They're not cheap. 
and they are good sellers. All right, probably my favorite find of the day. This is like at the second sale, the guy pulled these out for me when I asked for sports memorabilia. I asked like, I asked for video games, I asked them for sporting goods, sports memorabilia. We were just talking about all kinds of stuff they had for sale. So we went inside and pulled these out. These are 1960s NFL posters. This is Larry Wilson of the St. Louis football Cardinals. And there's some Dick Buckus ones in there. He had six of them and sold them all to me for 15 bucks. I haven't been able to find any yet. So they might be valuable. They might be worthless. I have no idea. But any kind of old sports posters I usually pick up because I've sold quite a few of them in the past for really good money. So keep an eye out for vintage sports posters. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.